All right, guys, so I got this box today, and we're going to be taking a look at what's inside it. Uh, it's something that I've been waiting for, and it was actually given to me as a gift uh, from someone close to me. And let's take a look. What we have here, and this is my first time actually pulling it out of the box. I only peeked in the box to make sure I knew what it was, uh, is this device right here which is a very neat device and is it a single board computer well not like you might think this is actually a hack rf one uh porta pack so this is a super cool thing that i have wanted for many years and you can see it says HackRF Portapack and Mayhem. So it is able to run the Mayhem firmware. Now, there's all different types of clones out there. So I also want to talk a little bit about this. I have never used one of these Portapacks. And I only recently got a HackRF one, which is super cool to have. But uh, this was also given to me as a Christmas gift. Now, it does look like they got me a clone, which is fine. I very much appreciate the gift, but if you're shopping for HackRF1, you might want to get the actual one from Great Scott Gadgets. Now, it's open source hardware, so of course, you know, there's going to be manufacturers out there that are going to make clones, and that's all good and well, and the clones do run a lot less. But something that you'll want to know about and keep in mind is, in my particular instance, this clock here, the TCXO here, uh, is actually not working, at least at this moment. So I did an initial test to see if it was working, and apparently it is not uh, functioning in the tests that I did. Uh, so you do have to watch out for that if you get a clone. Now, it does still work great. Uh, works great, and I really love it, and I'm going to be exploring more of this with you guys. So this is my first ever time trying a HackRF, um, and I'm going to be doing videos with that, sharing some things that I learned along the way, including today's advice that you might want to get the actual one from Great Scott Gadgets. Now, some of the clones do substitute some parts, and you got to keep these things in mind, especially also with the Porta Pack. So I got this one that was recommended. Um, I believe it comes from. Let me see what company makes this. Uh, but this one is one of the better supported ones from uh, Geek Something, I believe. And we'll be trying this out. I'm super excited to have gotten this, so I wanted to do this unboxing video. It has a touch screen. And also it has some little control knobs here. Now you can also do a replay attack. So you can check your own wireless security for things like remote controls, something like fans. So if you have an overhead fan in your home, uh, it may be remote controlled. And you can actually receive the signals and then replay them back to control the fan. Same with cars. You can unlock your car by doing uh, by jamming the rolling code and also replaying that back to unlock your car. So pretty neat stuff. You can also listen to all kinds of shortwave and otherwise. Um, this came with this clone here came with antennas. I do wish I got the actual one from Great Scott Gadgets, but since it was a gift, I really appreciate it. And maybe one day I'll get the one from Great Scott Gadgets. It's always good to support the actual inventors of these products because, you know, that is what's going to keep them afloat and help them continue making great things for everyone in the future. So definitely support Great Scott Gadgets if you can afford to do so. And it'll also save you from potential problems like I ran into where this TCXO clock um, is not going to work for me, at least so far. I might be able to fumble with it and maybe fix it, but we'll see. Um, so I do have to worry about the drift there. Um, now, what else is in here? Let's see. Oh, so this is the actual control knob. So this here, I was wondering why it didn't look like the picture they showed me. Uh, so this here will fit, I assume, yep, should fit right over here. So for the knob here, I'll take my time doing that later. Um, and what else do we have? Well, we have these little plastic things. I guess that's for the buttons here. So there's also these little knobs. Oops. I need to get my camera stand back up. 
Uh, so anyway, I didn't use a camera stand today, just leaning the phone. So I just wanted to kind of show because I was so excited to open this that I want to get started with it and I'll do a video trying it once I get the hang of things. Um, but yeah, this attaches on top of here. So this will fasten. It even has a battery so you can go around, you know, portability. This is all that's hence the name porta pack so you have this battery and also I noticed some of them come with smaller batteries so that's another tip if you're buying something like this look for the one with the biggest battery that way you're able to use it more longer because a lot of the ones with the smaller batteries die rather quickly so that's another tip for buying these um, if you do buy them, you also have to try and get one that is better supported because some of the clones out there may not actually be compatible with some of the firmware. So you definitely want to keep that in mind if you do purchase a HackRF or a porta pack to try and read up a bit. And um, I might share some links as well to help you guys if you do decide to buy one. Um, and I'm going to try it out. So I'm excited to check this out. Just wanted to show opening it and checking it out. So this is what I got today, which is the Porta Pack with the Mayhem firmware. So should be super cool to try out. Um, I'm probably not going to get it working right now, but because uh, I don't even know where to begin. I guess I got to hook up probably this here the battery into this connector here so I'll probably do that I haven't had a chance to do anything just wanted to show it to you guys but I'm excited to do another video when I get things going on this so uh, I'll have to figure out if I need to recharge the battery or anything else so uh, this is just an initial look in the box and I will try and get some links for you guys so if you guys are interested in one of these you'll be able to get one yourself. And I'll continue sharing my advice of things I learned along the way, so allow me to make the mistakes, and hopefully my videos will help you out so you don't have to repeat those mistakes. So guys, make sure to like the video, share it with everyone, and I will be back later with more on radio, the HackRF, how to protect your security and privacy.